Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Going to do Tech Tuesday, week number 12. And what we're going to do is uh, we get a lot of requests. I've had a few emails and a few messages. Uh, everybody sees the front of an equipment rack, but you never see the back wiring. So here is the back of our equipment rack wiring for our main theater room. Um, as you can see, it's uh, audio control. It's got an NAD processor up there, which has now been replaced by Kaleidoscape. And it's all Kimber cable. Um, the power is all watt gate, and the power cables and all of the XLR cables are all custom length. And then the speaker inputs are Kimber S bands, which is a soldered speaker connection. All right, so on to the main video, and we're going to go over equipment rack basics. Uh, hopefully, the back here will uh, get you excited to get your rack going. Thanks a lot. Hey guys, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So today I'm gonna to do a short video on Mid-Atlantic and their rack systems, along with their custom face plates. And what we'll be doing here is installing a, a new Xbox with a custom face plate, as well as a 2U audio video switcher for the whole house audio system. So doing a couple upgrades on the demo room plus the house. So what we got here, I'm just gonna kinda of pan through, is this is our main equipment rack area. So these are 32U racks. And each rack unit, for reference, is an inch and three quarter. So for example, our face plate here, that's a one U rack, so one U inch and three quarters, and then you can do the math obviously down. So what you'll find is most gear is gonna be in the one to four U range. For example, the audio control, that's a four U. And then their amps usually are all two U. You get down to some of their multi-channel or their sub amps. And again, that's a one U. The Furman on the bottom, so three U. So I think you're getting the gist there. As far as what Mid-Atlantic offers, uh, they offer equipment racks, um, face plates, custom face plates, power systems, uh, drawers, which we have down there. Since this center rack pulls out, we have the little pull handle, so that center rack will actually pull out. And that allows us to get into the back of the equipment rack to get to our left and right rack. And then behind that far left rack, we can also access it. The only one we can't pull out without some effort is our main equipment rack and that's due to the weight that I have it rocked down on all the casters. So what I'll do is I'm going to pan over to a couple other um, in our demo room in our showroom space. I'll show you a few more of the items that Mid-Atlantic makes. Uh, the rack screws which are 332nd and then I'll show you some face plates and then assemble the uh, Xbox face plate get the Xbox in there and kind of give you an overview. So it should be a good rack video um, for Someone who wants to learn about this stuff or is interested in getting one for their home Kind of showed you what we're doing there went over a few different things. I'll go into some more specifics here uh, Kind of the project I'm highlighting today is to show you their custom face plates from mid-atlantic So what we got here is a Yamaha music cast. So this would hold two of their little media streamers Above it we've got a 2U device and that's for a TiVo edge and then kind of an interesting thing, if you run into something that you need to get a little bit of clearance or you got something that's a weird space, Mid-Atlantic does make a half 1U equipment rack. And then here's your typical laser bar. And they make a bunch of different style laser bars. We generally don't use this style, but it's one I had for example. And then rack screws, so 332nd. This is the most common for residential and then uh, there is a second rack screw if you're in the European market, which would be an M6 that looks just like this. This again is 332nd. And then you have your cage nut two-piece systems. Um, we don't try to sell those or do anything, but unfortunately some of the equipment racks that we do get for wall mount, um, and of course customers racks will have the cage nut, um, and that's a 1224 screw. So you drop a cage nut in there, and then you kind of clamp it together with a 1224 screw. Not recommended, they're a pain in the butt. Um, I generally um, will try to toss them out if we don't have to use them. So, and then what we're going over here is we've got two things I wanted to talk about. One, we're gonna rack mount this Xbox. So the new Series X, I guess it's not new now, but it's new for us. We're gonna get that in here. We've got a couple customers that have wanted to demo video games. Uh, so it seems like a logical fit. And then below it is a, a brand new shelf. So it's a 4U shelf, it comes flat packed. And then it's got a 4U faceplate that will go around that Mid-Atlantic. So I am going to show you how that works assembled and uh, with its lock screws so you can see how that works. Again, that's kind of the premise of this video is to show the faceplates. 
but I did want to go over some other stuff Mid-Atlantic does. So for example here we've got an Asus Blu-ray writer and this is for our Kaleidoscape system so we can do their disc to digital program. You used to have to have a Kaleidoscape Alto or like the M700 disc player and you'd read your, your Blu-ray players and then you'd get a credit towards your movie if you already owned it. So I have enough movies this makes sense to me is we'll actually send this to Mid-Atlantic and they'll build us a 2U custom faceplate that'll just be the outline of that unit. So if you have a funky piece of equipment, maybe some old gear that you want to rack mount or faceplate, Mid-Atlantic does offer that service. You probably have to go through a dealer to do that. Um, and we'd be more than happy to help on that. Okay, so I got our Mid-Atlantic rack uh, faceplate and everything here opened. So what you got here is you'll have your little kit, little wrench. These are the stoppers. So this is, I'll go into this, but this is so you can't push the equipment in once it's mount, mounted in the rack. And then as you get in here, you got your face plate, it's got some instructions. So here you can see it's actually a 4U. I think I might have mentioned it was a 3U earlier. And that will clamp in similar to that using the screws. And then as you clamp it together, you'll have your face plate here. The other thing that Mid Atlantic, they notate all their face plates, so model number, so you're not going to mix anything up, you don't have to assemble it. You just check and it looks like it's got some little spacers so they must have had a height issue they wanted you to space that off so anyway i wanted to jump into that real quick but i think at this point i'm just going to assemble it all and then i'll take a couple pictures or i'll do a video real quick of the final product before i mount it in the equipment rack okay so this was actually pretty easy to film so i figured i would just do this instead of trying to uh, do a photo of it but as you can see there's your custom face plate our shelf's not installed yet the way it works. Your shelf will slide in here, mounts right on top of there. And then what you'll have is these little guys are gonna mount up. Don't put them down because if you put them down, you can't slide the rack out with the little screw. So these face up. And then what you're gonna have here is these go this way or this way, depending on the height of the equipment and what kind of power outlets you got. But again, you'll have the screw faced up and what that is, you can't push the equipment in. So if you got your gear here, these are stoppers. So your gear can't get pushed in. So it gives you a nice bezel and trim around. So at that point, I'm going to mount this. I'll do a quick video of it around the Xbox. So you can see everything bolted in here. And then I'll move it into the equipment rack and just do a quick uh, video in there showing you mount it up. Thanks a lot. Okay, so it took about 20 minutes. That was uh, unboxing the Mid-Atlantic rack, assembling it. Uh, same with the Xbox, getting the Xbox out of its uh, you know, box, getting everything unpackaged, uh, powered up on the back. And so you can see you got a super nice clean faceplate, custom cut. And then flip it around. You can see these are the stopper I was talking about. And so then you can't push that thing through. And then you've got these screw holes, uh, vents, so it's vented. Um, we may actually even put a fan here and let that blow over into our equipment rack. We haven't decided yet. See how hot it gets. Um, and that's the nice thing about Mid-Atlantic is you're, you're doing the faceplate. So any cooling you do, it's more efficient. And so, as you can see, it's super nice setup on that. Again, there's our label. It says top. And so, anyway, that's what you got. One custom faceplate ready to go. All right, so another 30 or 40 minutes, and now we have our new audio switcher in, and we have our Xbox Series X installed, all rack mounted nice. As you can see, that's the reason why you do these. It's continuous all the way up, allows all your intake venting to work. We have fans on top, so it lets everything flow, and it gives you a nice clean equipment racks. We got one little void there right below our NVR, and we're working on that. All right, hope you liked the video. Hope it helps you out. Have a good evening.